So today we're joined with Javi Telechea. Um, hi, Javi, how are you? I'm good. How are you, man? I'm not too bad, thank you. So, a uh, quick introduction about yourself. Okay, so my name is Javi Telechea. I am from Argentina. I am currently in Argentina, fortunately, enjoying some good weather. Um, I have played hockey since I was seven years old, and I started coaching when I was already 20. I think I was already coaching a Damas One team in Argentina. Uh, because here we men play on Sunday, women play on Saturday. So when we are playing, we can also coach women's top level. Uh, so I have been coaching for many years. I also work for three years. I work as an assistant coach in professional football here in Argentina until I was a bit tired. So I decided to go traveling a bit. Uh, traveling, I coach in USA. Um, I played in Italy as well. I played in Australia. And right now I am coaching in Belgium for the last two and a half seasons. Um, I have worked in Leuven with the Heron team, now I'm with the Damas. I'm also in charge of the youth. And this year I have also started coaching Daring, the honor division team for the men's. And I'm also working, I work for one year with the under 21 women's team in Belgium. And right now I'm T2 for the men's under 21. So I think that's a good brief summary <laughs> of my life. Yeah, I mean, that's quite an impressive hockey CV you've got already. Um, so like, what made you want to move to Belgium? No. Actually, yeah, I was in Argentina for many years working in hockey, then in football, and I always wanted to, to make a trip. Uh, really, I didn't have a, a fixed plan when I started traveling. I just wanted to go to different places, and I used hockey as a tool to travel because when I left Argentina, I first went three months to USA, where I was coaching a bit there. Then I went to Italy like for four months that I was playing, and then I, was, I went to Champions Trophy in Breda. Then I went to the Football World Cup in Russia. But all this time I was looking for, for a job in Belgium or Holland because I wanted to, to work one season there to, to see a different culture. I really like to do different experiences. So I find a really uh, a job in Leuven that I really like. And yeah, I have, still, I have stayed there now for two years and a half. My idea was to stay one season and see how it goes. So it, it went quite good. So I'm still there. Yeah, I mean, that's, I mean, three years is quite a long time as well. Uh, how long do you reckon it took you like, so to settle into Belgium then? I think the first half of the season, for example, was really adjusting. Um, it's about the culture, it's about uh, players, hockey style, everything. It, it took me a while. Luckily, in Leuven, it's a club with a lot of foreign players and, that really, and a foreign coach. So it was a lot of help in that side. We were all more or less in the same. Yeah, we are not from here. We are trying to adjust. So we really helped each other. And I, and I met some amazing people, even Belgian people in the club that really, really helped me adapt. And they were always ready to help when I needed something. So that was amazing. Yeah, I and mean, also I think that having traveling a lot also sometimes make it a bit easier i do like that part eh, of going somewhere you have no idea the language the the streets and, and and adjusting it's part of the the fun i think yeah i mean it's part of the experience isn't it um, yeah for sure in the end for for me traveling there is about that they eh, go into a new place where you're not in your comfort zone and you need to adjust and you and you're a bit fried of course because like, okay what is going to happen what do i need to do and I, I, from my experience so far, you always find a way to manage. Definitely, definitely. Uh, so what would you say then would be like the hardest thing that you found about moving to obviously a different country? I mean, there's so many countries that you can pick from. But... No, I think I, I always enjoyed it. Um, and at the same time, the, the good part is that I always left a door open to live because I had never moved anywhere permanently. It was just for a couple of months and knowing I could go somewhere else. Uh, I think the hard part for me right now is I, I'm in Belgium and I really, I'm 32 years old and I'm not sure I'm going to stay here for the rest of my life. Do I want to go home? That's the hardest part, you know, not knowing where is your home is not easy. Eh? Yeah. I mean, and finish off. So what advice would you give to anyone thinking of moving clubs? Do it. <laughs> go, go, go away. I think, um, I think when I was 20, it was my fir first experience away. I went to Australia to play like for six months. And it really changed my life. I think it's going away. I was in with my parents when I went away. I was on my own in a foreign country. Me knowing a new culture really changed your life. And it's not about hockey. It's not about the hockey level. It's really about the experience you go through as a person. And it's really a maturing process. And I think it's, it's amazing. Eh? For me personally, 
Um, of course, you will be afraid when you have to make that decision, but I think yeah, you, you can only win from it. it. It's really good for you. It's going to be good for the future. You're going to have so much more perspective on your life. And I think yeah, you should go for it. Even though you are going to be scared, it's going to be weird thinking who is going to be there, who will help me. I think you have to go for it. Yeah, I mean, it's taking that step in the end, isn't it? <laughs> no, for sure. For me, it was it really changed my life. My first trip when I was 20. And yeah, now I'm still doing it then. So I, I really enjoyed it. Okay, Harvey. Thank you so much for joining us today. I hope you have a great day. Thank you very much, you too, man.